Deadline is fast approaching to get older semi trucks off the road. It's an environmental regulation that was announced in 2008. And by January 1st, any large trucks made before 2010 cannot operate in California. Action News 8 reporter Christian Balderas is live in Salinas tonight with more on the effect on the local trucking industry. Christian? For those in the trucking industry, at least here in Salinas, it's not a last minute scramble by any means. They've known for years that they are going to have to go green, but still that shift for many has been frustrating, if not impossible. Salinas is the hub for big rigs, which deliver produce all over the state and beyond, supporting the Salinas Valley's billion dollar ag industry. But an ongoing initiative by the state's Air Resources Control Board is making it difficult for trucking companies to stay afloat. It's a rule first announced in 2008 by Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think that we should move forward with this whole thing, but I understand the business is concerned, believe me. And 14 years later, many trucking businesses say they're struggling. It's very difficult to even be able to like grow as a, as a trucking business in California. Brian Hernandez is director at H&H Transportation Incorporated in Salinas. To get ahead of the mandate, H&H got rid of six of its 12 trucks to fall into compliance. It was a sacrifice that compounded with the economic challenges of COVID the company has yet to recover from. These past few years, it's been a lot more difficult because we got rid of half of our fleet and basically to become compliant with rules that no one else was even being compliant with. And H&H &H isn't alone. Over the years, many businesses in the area have had to move its trucks to operations outside of California or replace their fleet entirely. Some choosing to sell out of state or to Mexico for newer, more expensive compliant trucks and others were forced to shut down entirely. We were in business for uh, 95 years. My great uncle started it in 1926. That's sad. I'm, I would have a retail store in Paso Robles selling uh, meats and sausages that are uh, processed in Salinas, and it's a friend of mine. Now come January 1st, all big trucks and buses with engines made before 2010 need to be off the road. And for environmentalists and state regulators, it's a mandate that's necessary. When we passed the regulation in 2008, it was not only to help us meet the federal air quality standards, but also to reduce community exposure in of toxic air contaminants in disadvantaged communities. So, you know, it, it was it is the truck and bus regulation is 100 percent to protect public health. And state lawmakers and regulators are hoping to have all big buses and trucks be 100% electric within the next few years. And of course, if that happens, it's going to pose its own set of challenges for those in the industry. And many say it's already causing a lot of anxiety. Reporting live in Salinas, I'm Christian Balderas, KSBW, Action News 8.